to Marlene at Home, and I'm Marlene, and welcome to this episode of Amish Soap Making and More. I am at a friend's house, my friend Sarah, and um, you have met her family if you have seen my program on my dear Amish family. Sarah has a business of soap making and so much more, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. But anyway, um, up near our family cabin, uh, we love coming to their house and they're dear, dear. We, we call them our Amish family because they're better than dear, dear friends to us. And so I asked her if she would let me film some about her soap making business. So you won't be seeing Sarah a whole lot, uh, you know, maybe her arms or something. But anyway, I'll be telling you about the soap making process. And I'm thankful that I have my sister back. We've met her in previous episodes. She and her husband are here visiting from Alabama and we're up here in the mountains. They came north to see a beautiful fall weekend, but we really don't have fall here yet, even though it's uh, you know, late fall, well, not late fall, mid fall. But anyway, here we're standing just in front of some of the bars that Sarah makes and we'll be seeing other things close up the process. But you can just see all the different uh, kinds and mm, um, beautiful aromas. And um, I love the, the neat edging on some of them. Uh, this is one of Cindy's favorite places. Tell us why. Yes. Several years ago when we met Sarah and her soaps, we of course bought some to come and they are mine and my husband's favorite. So we have to be sure to stock up while we're up here. Well, great. And I'll give a close up later. Um, Sarah's business is called Natural Wonders by Sarah. And as I said, um, she has soaps and a lot more. And so um, I'll give you information about that later. But I just wanted to welcome you to Marlene at Home with Sarah's soaps. All right, we're ready, getting ready to start the soap making process. And I just wanted to say that all of Sarah's products are all natural, they're chemical free, and there's no artificial anything in them. I also want to mention, usually in my videos, Cooper is running around and distracting me, and you're very familiar with my dog, Cooper. Today, you won't see Cooper, but you will hear two adorable little Amish girls. We have one-year-old Ruthanna and three-year-old Lily, and you may hear them. Um, we're trying not to get them in any pictures, um, but I did want to mention what you might be hearing in the background. Step one, Cindy. Okay. Step one, Sarah will be preparing the wooden mold. She'll take freezer paper and line the wooden mold with it, and then she will pour the soap into them. And then we will move them to the floor to keep them level. So now she'll put the molds on the floor, and she does that to make them level. And uh, so Cindy's putting them down there. And um, you can see she's got the uh, freezer paper um, taped on the sides and the end to get them all ready to um, pour and we'll get to the next step. Okay, we've now started the second step. And um, this is a cordless battery operated drill that has a, um, an attachment on the end. I think it would be like for mixing paint, but instead we're mixing um, for soap. And what's happening over the mixing is um, the color is getting uh, more white. It's getting thicker. Now, she could even keep mixing to the point where it'd be like cookie dough, but we don't, we don't need it that, that cookie that thick. Anyway, uh, she's going to add now, she's going to add some oatmeal and some poppy seed. And the soap that she's making in this batch is called Stargazer. And the reason it's called Stargazer is that there is a lily called Stargazer. And it smells like lily of the valley. The Stargazer lily flower is white with maybe a little bit of red edging or tint to it. And so anyway, now we'll stop so that um, I'll stop talking so she can turn it on and mix. Okay, so we mixed a little bit more and we've added oatmeal and poppy seed and also the color and color is really what's 
sells the product. And so this is a pretty purple color. And it's kind of a tricky thing here. You've got to do it just exact timing. So you may not see every single step. She also added oil at one point, but she's got to make it, keep it moving. So now we're going to move over here to the molds. This is the bottom color or no? No, this is the whole color. Okay. Bottom color. She said bottom color. It almost looks like poppy seed bread. And this lady's an unbelievable cook, I might add. Good to the last drop. She's getting every little bit out that she can. Moving quickly in this part of the process. Mm, it just smells wonderful. Sorry, I can't get a fragrance uh, thing to come through the video. And now she's going to add this pretty purple color. It just kind of swirls through. And here the master maker knows exactly how much. There's some little girls moving furniture in the background. <laughs> it keeps this real. There we go. Don't want to waste any of that good color. Now she just stirs it around. So this is really what makes the swirls in the soap. So when you buy a bar of soap and you see the swirls in it, you'll see some um, finished soaps a little later. But this is what gives it that pretty swirly effect. Now you wouldn't want to eat soap, but it does remind me of ice cream. <laughs> but yeah, the aroma is so neat. The appearance is so neat. And you know, every bar is going to be unique because it'll be um, just each one different, swirls different. Very pretty. Okay, so now this is step three. We're going to cover it here on the floor. This is just an extra piece of plywood. And then the books call this putting it to bed. You like nice quilts when you go to bed. So we're putting a, a quilt. Oh, look, there's some animals on the quilt. And here's layer two of another old blanket. And it's going to remain like this for 24 hours. And it's going to harden. And then tomorrow, um, she can cut it. But we're going to go to some things she already has done. And we'll see that next step. Here we are getting ready for the next step of slicing the bars. But I just wanted to show you, here's how the whole bar looks when it comes out of the mold. And Okay, we are now at step four, cutting the soap into bars. And um, Melvin made this little device for cutting. Um, it's like a countertop kind of, um, I don't know what's under your particle board. And, and then there's like two little pieces of wood here, two screws with a piece of wire in between. And it's it's very effective um, cutting this. As you can see, she's making a lot of, pros a lot of uh, progress in slicing these bars. And out of the one batch, which is the five molds that we saw earlier, she can get about 100 bars of soap. Oh, it smells wonderful. I forgot to mention that the um, name of this soap is 
tea tree lavender and it smells wonderful. Because baby Ruthie was sad, we were taking her mommy's time. We had to take a little break. And um, I forgot to get pictures of the, the next step after that. And this is when Sarah would take a potato peeler on the far four corners of the bar of soap and round them off. And she does it like boom, 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 and they're done. So anyway, um, after we got all done and uh, got Ruth and Anna settled and finished our thing, then we remembered we forgot to film this step. Okay, I'm in the storage room. And these are filled with trays, and you can see how she has the titles of the different soaps um, all around. And they're going to be on these trays to cure for four to six weeks. And in the curing process, what happens is that the moisture evaporates, um, the, it hardens the bar, and this is so that the bar doesn't dissolve in the shower. And um, I, I've heard, I'm not sure about the accuracy of this, I've heard that the soap you purchase isn't cured. But I was reminded, and Sarah and I just talked about this, how in the olden days, and even my mom, that's not that olden days, would buy their soap at the store, unwrap it, and my mother used to store hers in these big glass jars, almost like cookie jars, and then the glass lid would have like a, um, I don't want to say, like a pliable plastic lid that would make it airtight. And, and I know even at our cabin, we still have one of those glass jars filled with soap, bars of soap. And that you used to do that to harden yourself and make it last longer. So, just some ideas. Okay, after four to six weeks and the racks, she will move them into these buckets. Each bucket is a different fragrance. This one right here is aloe and green tea. Then the one right next here is peaches and cream. And these then will be ready to be wrapped and ready to sell. This pretty pink bar is all ready for the wrapper and it just smells heavenly. And this is entitled Rose Petals. Okay, here we are at step six. And uh, this is the labeling process. And uh, she is packaging today Rose Petals. And so here she is little glue stick, putting them, you can see she's got a helper in her lap. I mean, you can hear, you can't see. And she doesn't put this on until she's got the orders. And let me just, we did not see this earlier. Let me just scroll florally. I don't know the names of all these, but just look at all of them. The different you can just imagine and she just said each year she tries to add a few new aromas and people will say do you have this the new ones this year or that rose petal one and also cucumber cu lime. cucumber lime is the new one Sarah is there a cucumber lime here I could pick up and yes, show one this one right here this is the new one cucumber lime and are there any straw, the new ones that you were just wrapping, are they here? They're the not here. Okay. So, anyway, all kinds of, and, and I will zoom in on her brochure at the end, and then that way, I'm just curious, what is, what is this one with this pretty pink stuff? Mm. Probably my most popular one right now, it's raspberry grapefruit. Oh, raspberry grapefruit, I've had that one before. Cindy, I think you said you, that's my favorite. That's Cindy's favorite. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, we are at the final stage. This is the uh, shipping area, I'm going to call it. And uh, she ships all over the U.S. And it can be a bigger order, bigger boxes. Um, it's just amazing the things she'll send me, um, things in, um, you know, small boxes, you know, Ritz cracker. Um, it can be something very small. It could be a diaper box. It could be juice boxes or um, anyway but she ships all over the U.S. and here's her stash of boxes. I'm just going back and taking a look at some of the things we've already cut today and looking at Sarah's card. Um, I'll, I'll have information at the end of the video, but just a little glimpse of what she has. Soap, shampoo, bars, lip balm, body mist, deodorant, perfume oil, 
insect repellent, poison eye relief, pooch bar, and more, so much more. And so we'll see more of that in a moment, but I just kind of wanted to get a close up here with the shavings of the soap and it, it's so pleasant aroma. Oh. Okay, here's the table she has set up with the different uh, products that she has made. There's a happy bar shampoo and bath bar for babies. There's um, all natural deodorant. All natural homemade soap wildflowers there. Now back up so you can see this whole table that she has right. set up. And Cindy, talk about some of the things you this see This is a here. shampoo bar, several different flavors. That is rosemary mist. This is herbal. And this is citrus. And she has a little smaller size. This is orange blossom bar soap. Then she has um, roll-on perfume. Then she has body mist spray. There's the deodorants. And all the different flavors, all the, I'm sorry, aromas mm -hmm. in the um, deodorant. And the mist. And the mist. And here's hand sanitizer. I keep this at my desk all the day. This is poison ivy relief, topical spray, large or small. Insect repellent, there's the large size. Here's the small size. And you know, we featured this, um, I think it was orange blossom soap, but these are in smaller sizes here. And you know, so if you just need small gifts, you have a lot of coworkers or something you need smaller things for. All right. Now and these are some of my favorites, the lip balm. Um, strawberry, citrus, watermelon, mint, peach, uh, tropical fruit, vanilla, cranberry is my favorite, and blackberry. And I have um, all natural bath bombs, several different uh, flavors of those. And then these are her soaps that we've already highlighted. And you'll often see in stores her products. And it's fun to go in and, and see Natural Wonder products. And here's the big container of all natural dishwashing soap and citrus. Um, and then in different sizes. And I think that's it. This is the same as on the other side. All right. Some of the, um, well, some of my favorites ever here is the pooch bar. So um, that for your dog, the naturally antibacterial soap, and the charcoal and clay that she says cleans your body of, um, I don't know what the word she used, but anyway, um, Paul kind of like, ooh, that sounds good. But, and then right under the table, just some of the shoes. Uh, I'm not sure if I told the story, but last Christmas, I gave them all um, matching slippers. Now, let's see. Papa Bear and Big Brother's missing, yeah, Little Brother, and my favorites are missing, Baby Bear at the end. But here's all the ones that were just right here, easy to put on. We have Little Bear, um, Little Sisters, and there you go. Thank you for joining me at Marlene at Home. Uh, we really enjoyed this time, and we thank Sarah for taking the time to let us do this. And uh, the two little girls running around and... <laughs> You know, it's a lot like having Cooper around. <laughs> but anyway, thank you for joining me today. I hope you'll come back with us again. And Cindy, it was great to have you. Good to be here. Thanks to have a, good to have a partner in crime in this. And so I look forward to having you join us another week. Here I am zooming on in on Sarah's Natural Wonders brochure. I've already mentioned the products, but here are also some of the prices. Also, uh, 31 of the cents. So I just laid out her foldable brochure out flat so you could see all sides of it. And then I turned it over and this just shows you more of her products, more of the scents for those products. And um, I had her put the prices on here. So, you know, if we had a program in the branch, um, we don't try to sell people's things or promote their businesses per se, but we do allow them to display their brochures if people want to pick them up. Thank you for joining me at Marlene at Home.